In this lecture, we are going to learn what is a variable and how to create a variable in TypeScript. Variables are the fundamental concept of any programming language. A variable is like a name storage in which we can store a value. This named storage then can be used over and over again in our code instead of writing the value each time we want to use it. So let's go ahead and let's learn how we can create a variable in TypeScript. Let's go to VS Code. So here in VS Code, currently this app.ts file is open and in the right hand side, we also have our browser open. So whatever TypeScript code we will type here and when we will compile it, it will be converted into JavaScript code and that JavaScript code will run here. Okay, so from here, I'm going to remove this console.log statement. I'll simply put a comment here and here we are going to learn about variables in TypeScript. And this is lecture three. All right. Now, in TypeScript, we can create a variable using let or const keyword. So just like JavaScript, in TypeScript also, we create a variable using let and const keyword. Let's first create a variable using let keyword and let's simply call it as num. Okay, and I'm going to assign this num variable with this value 100. So this is how we create a variable using let keyword. In the same way, we can also create a variable using const keyword. Let me call it as str. And to this, I'm going to assign a string variable and I'll simply call it as hello world. Okay, so this is how we create a variable using const keyword, just like how we do it in JavaScript. Now, what is the difference between the variable created using let keyword and the variable created using const keyword? Well, when we create a variable using let keyword, at that time, we can simply declare the variable without assigning any value to it like this. And at a later point of time, if we want, we can assign it with some value like this. So here we are not getting any error. So when we create a variable using let keyword, we don't need to initialize it immediately. We can initialize it after a later point of time. But when we create a variable using const keyword, like we are creating here, we need to initialize it immediately. We cannot create a variable using const keyword without initializing it. So for example, if I try this, if I try to create a variable using const keyword without initializing it, you see, we are getting an error. And the error says, const declaration must be initialized. That means whenever we create a variable using const keyword, we must initialize it immediately like this. But that is not the case in case of variable created using let keyword. All right, another difference is when we create a variable using let keyword, we can initialize it with some value and at a later point of time, if we want, we can change its value. So for example, here I'm changing the value of num from 100 to 1000 and we are not getting any error. But this we cannot do with the variables created using const keyword because the variable which we create using const keyword, they are constant, their value cannot be changed. So here when I have created this str variable and when I have initialized it with this value, at a later point of time, if I try to change its value to something else, let's say hi there, here we will get an error because this str, it is a constant. Its value cannot be changed. And here we are trying to change its value. So as you can see, we are getting an error. And it says cannot assign to str because it is a constant. So this is the difference between let and const keyword. So you can use let keyword to create a variable when you know that the value of that variable might change in future. But you can use const keyword to create a variable when you know that its value is never going to change in the entire program. Another very important point to note about TypeScript variables is that their data type is inferred at the time of initialization. For example, here we have created this num variable using let keyword and we have assigned a value 100 to it. So if I hover over this num variable, you will see that its type is number. So its data type has been inferred based on the value which we have stored in it. Since we are storing a numeric value to this num, its data type has been inferred as number. And its data type will always be number throughout the program. So at a later point of time, if we try to assign some other type of value to this num, it is going to throw us an error. 
So to this num, if I try to assign a Boolean value, let's say true, you will see that we have an error. And the error says that Boolean is not assignable to type number because here, even though we have not explicitly specified the data type of this num variable, but since we have assigned 100 to it, it is a number and that's why it has inferred its type as number. So we can only assign a numeric value to it anytime in the future. But this is not how it works in JavaScript. In JavaScript, when you create a variable, you assign it with a value, its data type will be determined based on the value which you have stored in it. But at a later point of time, you can change the value of that variable to any other type. And then the data type of that variable will change based on the value which you have stored in it. So JavaScript is dynamically typed. But here, TypeScript is strongly typed. Once the data type of the variable is determined, its data type cannot be changed. Okay, that's why when we assigned 100 to this num variable, its data type was determined as number. So only number can be stored in this num variable throughout the program. No other value type can be stored in this num variable. And that's why when we are trying to store a Boolean value to this num, it is giving us an error. So this is another important point to remember about TypeScript variables. Now, let's also learn what are the rules we need to follow in order to name a variable. So when we are creating a variable, when we are going to provide a name for the variable, we need to keep few things in mind. The first thing which we need to keep in mind is that the variable name can only contain letters, digits, underscore and dollar sign. It cannot contain any other character. For example, here I can create a variable, let's say first name, first underscore name. So this variable name is correct because it contains letters and an underscore. So underscore and letters are allowed in a variable name. Even you can include dollar and digits. So letters, digits, dollar and underscore. These things are allowed in a variable name. But if you try to use any other character, for example, if I try to use hyphen, hyphen is not allowed in variable name. So this is not a valid variable name. Okay. In the same way, if I try to use percentage, that is also not allowed in a variable name. So this is also not a valid variable name. Only letters, digits, underscore and dollar is allowed in a variable name. This is the first rule. The second rule is the first character of a variable name must not be a digit. A variable name cannot start with a number. For example, if I say one name, this is not a valid variable name because a variable name cannot start with a number. This is the second rule which you need to remember. Third rule is a variable name can start with a letter, underscore or dollar sign. It cannot start with a number, but a variable name can start with a dollar sign or it can also start with a underscore or it can start with any letter. So this is also a valid variable name. And this is also a valid variable name. It starts with a character, a letter. Then the fourth rule is TypeScript variable names are case sensitive. So for example, this variable num and if I create another variable num with n in uppercase, these two are completely different variables. These are not same variables. These are different variables because variable names are case sensitive. So a variable name with n in lowercase is different from a variable name num where n is in uppercase. And finally, you cannot use TypeScript reserved keywords as a variable name. For example, I cannot create a variable class because class, it is a reserved keyword. Okay, class is a reserved keyword. So we cannot use this name as a variable name because it is a reserved keyword. In the same way, if is also a reserved keyword. So I cannot use if as a variable name. Then while is also a reserved keyword. So we cannot use while as a variable name. Or we cannot use any reserved keywords in TypeScript as a variable name. So these are the five rules which you need to remember while naming your variable. So variable name can contain only letters, digits, underscore and dollar sign. The first character of a variable name must not be a digit. A variable name can start with a letter, 
underscore or dollar sign but it cannot start with a digit it cannot start with a number and typescript variable names are case sensitive so a variable name num with all characters in uppercase is different from a variable name num with all characters in lowercase and finally we cannot use typescript's reserved keywords as a variable name so these are the five rules you need to remember while naming your variable so in this lecture we learned that we can create a variable using let and const keyword and when we create a variable and when we assign it with some value that variable is going to have a type so in the next lecture and in coming few lectures we are going to talk about the different data types we have in typescript this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day